If you're on, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the second video talking about my favorite fall products. This one is going to be all about lip products, so I will be linking down below the one that I did for everything else. So basically eyeshadow, blushes, nails, everything random. So today we're focusing on the lips. I have a ridiculous amount of lipsticks to mention, so I won't be swatching every single shade on my lips because there's probably at least 30 and my lips will not survive this and I have a lot of lip swatch video coming up. So I have to pick and choose a little bit, but some of these colors I've been doing lip swatch videos on the whole collection, so there's going to be a lot of lip swatch video linked down below that I recommend looking at if you are looking to choose one of the colors. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with what's on my lips. So I'm starting with the category of nudes with a little bit of a twist, either a little bit darker, a little bit more brownier, or a little bit more purple. This one is a little bit more on a peach side. Obviously skin tone will change everything. This might be too light if you have a little bit of a tan. It might be better as a summer creamsicle color. But on my skin tone, it's a pretty nude with just a little bit of peach in there. And it's one of the Bite Beauty Amuse Bush lipsticks. If you are looking to splurge on one high-end lipstick, it would probably be the one that I would recommend a range of color, not necessarily this color, but these are very, very creamy, very pigmented lipsticks that are matte, but I don't find them extremely drying unless you are very, very sensitive to dryness. Otherwise, these are so comfortable. They're beautiful. Like I said, I'm wearing it right now. Such a stunning color. As you can see, stunning. I think the best point even after this being the perfect lipstick that lasts all day, that will transfer a little bit but stay on your lips, all these things are fantastic, but the fact that it smells like pink lemonade is just the cherry on top that makes it probably my favorite formula ever. They're fantastic. I always have to be careful not to lick my lips, lick them off because they taste just as good as they smell, so very dangerous there. But the second color I wanted to mention is the color Fig, which another great nude. I know for a lot of people this is their best nude lipstick, so I just wanted to throw it out there because it just needs to be mentioned a little bit more. Another color that is a perfect nude in my opinion is the Milani Matte Naked color. It's a little bit more brown than my usually uh, nude lipstick, which is perfect for fall, obviously depending on your skin tone, but if you have a little bit of a cool undertone and you cannot for the life of you pull off MAC Velvet Teddy, this is the perfect color, or MAC Brave, those are two options, but this one is just as round as I will go on a daily basis and feel comfortable with, so I do recommend this color a lot. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments, and the formula is really, really great. It is matte, but it's not overly drying. It lasts really well on the lips. They have a vanilla scent, so if you like that type of scent, it's not really offensive. I don't smell it on my lips, but just wanted to say it because I know some people are sensitive to scents. I'm trying to go from the lightest to the darkest that I have in the nude category. A year ago, this was probably the lipstick that was on my lips non-stop, and I absolutely still love it, obviously. It's a nude color, but a little bit more purple, and it is MAC Faux, and right here, this one is a satin finish, so they're usually creamier than uh, matte formulas, but they last well throughout the day. They're just a little bit more creamy and shiny, but look at this. This is my perfect nude purpley color. If you want something a little bit darker, the next one is going to be for you, and this one is the color Mer? How do you pronounce that one? Mer? Mer? I'm not sure. I'm just going to do it right underneath. This one is a bit more uh, purple and it's definitely darker. Look at this. This is the perfect, I want to wear a berry lips, but I don't really want to wear a berry lips. You know, it's a very easy color to pull off and this is stunning. I'm actually going to put this on my lips right now because I'm forgetting to swatch out my lips. Actually, quickly I'm going to apply the Milani one. So this is the nude that I'm wearing right now. As you can see, it's just stunning, super easy to pull off. It looks really matte on the lips, but it's not like transfer proof, so it's very comfortable. So this one was the oh, this one was the Milani one. Quickly Mac Faux because I love this one. So this is Mac Faux. This one went back into my purse very recently. I've been wearing it again, and I think it's just such a fantastic color. It's really easy to throw on, and it's not too dark that I can't pull it off on a daily basis, so it's a great color. This one was right here. We have Mac Mer. All those colors are colors that will change drastically depending on your undertone or your skin tone. So obviously if you have a warmer undertone, this one will look a little bit more purple. If it's more cool tone, it will look more reddish pink. So it really changes depending. So as you can see, this is the color. This one was a matte finish. Yeah, matte. I didn't want to swatch them all on my lips, but I there's just too many I really want to show you on the lips. This one is the Bite Beauty. Those are the matte 
lip crayon or something, the matte cream lip crayon. This one is the color Glessy, and this is so beautiful that I need to swatch this. So again, it's a color that if you have a warmer undertone, it will look closer to this color. On me, it's obviously a little bit more reddish brown, but this is so stunning. Even whenever I have a tan, it looks a little bit more grayish lavender. It's so beautiful, but obviously you can see on me right now, a great color. The only thing is that it doesn't smell like pink uh, lemonade, but other than that, I do find the crayon form is very easy to apply. They smell edible, but they don't smell like anything specific. Last two are darker mauve color. The first one is the Narzadacious Lipsticks. If you are looking again to splurge on a lipstick, this formula is just so incredible. They feel incredibly luxurious. And by the way, there's a little bit of a... Is this not the best sound ever? Whenever you put this in your purse, you're not afraid it's gonna explode everywhere. So this one is the color Anna, which is just a gorgeous... Let me swatch on my hand first. Purple color. Look at this. This is just perfect. This is a type of lipstick that like one swipe gives you the perfect intensity. They're extremely creamy, pigmented, whoop, right here. It's just a stunning color, I'm in love. This is definitely one of my favorite color of the range. Also wanted to show this one by Sephora. This is the Sephora Rouge Matte, uh, the color M03. I don't hear anyone mention these. They're pretty new, but still nobody mentions them. And it's a great nude mauve color again. Look at this. This one right here. How beautiful is this? It's just a stunning mauve color once again. You can see a team, but those are just the colors that are like a little bit more out there, but they're still very wearable on a daily basis. So if you're not into those type of bold, vampy colors, those are just an easy way to change your lip wardrobe during the fall. Just throwing out there one more color because I never know when to stop. I want to mention the um, Too Faced Melted Matte Lipsticks. They have a few really great nude colors that are still just a little bit of fun. I feel like nude liquid lipsticks are hard to come by, the formula being good. Very often they look very drying on the lips, not these ones. And this one is the color Cool Girl. And this one is a little bit more on the brown side. If you want something else, think Kat Von D uh, Lolita or Double Dare, which I'm going to show in just a second. Those are great colors. So yeah. I wanted to include a few uh, lip liners too because we tend to not mention them and we should. The first one is from NARS. This one is the color El Agua, which is just a stunning like mauve color. A lot of people uh, were telling me how it looks like uh, the Audacious Lipstick in the color Dominic, I think. And I couldn't get my hands on it, so I'm really happy I found this lip liner. It's absolutely stunning. Very different color. I wanted to mention also Makeup Forever uh, lip liner in the color 14C. This one is definitely more on the uh, darker nude color. And then last but not least, this one is the uh, Bare, Bare Mineral Marvelous Moxie color in Trilled. Definitely more of a daily color for me. Next range of color is those type of colors that are just a step darker, more fun than the other ones we just mentioned. So they're just a little bit more out there, but they're still very wearable and very easy to pull off. I want to talk about the color that's on my lips right now, and it's one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This color is the color Craft, which, how stunning is this? This is just a very pretty berry color. It's how stunning. This is definitely a very easy color to pull off. The range of color of the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I know some shades are a little bit more hidden in this. This one is definitely a strong color. So I would probably skip, I think the two lightest shades are a little bit weaker, and then uh, the medium colors and the, the darkers are obviously a lot more stable. There's a few that are a little bit uneven. There's a huge debate on if these two colors are perfect dupes or not. I'll link down below the video that I did where I was wearing the half half my lips. They're super similar. They're not exact exact, but honestly, if you can get your hands on one or the other, you'll be all set. And I know these two colors are always sold out, or at least they used to be, so if you can find one, grab it and run. The first one is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Patina, which I have to say I really, really love the applicator. It's extremely soft, which might seem like it, meh, I don't care, but whenever you have it, it's actually really fun. This one is a uh, mauve color. Depending on your skin tone, it will look more or less dark. On me, it's a pretty dark one, especially the lighter I get. But this is so beautiful. It's just... Look at it. And the second one is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 13, which I believe is Marvelous Mauve. And those are so underrated. I know I constantly rave about them, so maybe they're not that underrated. But 
This color and 01 Always Red are probably the best colors, so if you're still looking for color for the holidays, get that one because it's the perfect lipstick that will stay on your lips 12 hours. It's fantastic. But enough about that one. Look how similar they are. Like, I would say the... Looking at them in person, I would say the steel one is just a hint more purple, but very, very, very similar. <laughs> This is probably my newest favorite in that group of color. This is another Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and this is the color Soft Lilac. And basically as they say, it's a soft lilac color, but I like wearing purples during the fall. I don't know about you. And this one is a very wearable one. It's fantastic. You could probably wear it all year round, but I've been wearing it lately and I think I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this month. It's just very easy to pull off. It's a little bit purple, a little bit of fun. Same line of color, I want to mention the uh, Queen Bee color by Too Faced. And it's another one of those mauve color. And I feel like they look all very similar, but more option the better. And again, the formula is great. If you're looking for a mid-tone color that is a little bit warmer, I would recommend Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Double Dare. Again, if you have a warmer undertone, it might look a little bit more uh, purpley. But on me, it looks like a medium orangey color, as you can see. How pretty is this? This is just so fun to wear. It just looks like a burnt orange on your lips, which screams fall. Another version I would say from drugstore would be the NYX uh, Lip Légerie in the color uh, Exotic. This color especially looks good on tan skin. I feel like it just looks like a darker nude, but a little bit more reddish orangey. It's fantastic. In that category, there is one lip liner that needs to be mentioned, and it's extremely affordable. The Essence Lip Liner in the color Satin Mauve, which is so hard to find. This is a stunning, again, surprise, mauve color, but I thought it would be nice to mention it with all the other ones. It's a great option. It's super affordable. Last but not least, I need to mention the category of those dark, vampy shades that are so much fun. This is probably my favorite category because Colors though, they're just fantastic. I am starting with what's on my lips, and it's from the drugstore, super affordable and a classic. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in 107, and this is one of those berry color that just has the perfect amount of like burgundy, perfect amount of berry in there, and it looks stunning on so many different skin tones. But most people actually end up being very surprised and think that they can pull off pretty easily that color and I just recommend it. It's stunning, super comfortable, super creamy. It does have a strong uh, fruity scent, so just be aware of this, but I personally like the scent, so I really don't mind. It's a really comfortable matte formula. It uh, doesn't dry out my lips too much, but it doesn't end up being all over the place too easily either. And it's just a great color. It's very unique. I actually have a lot of similar colors, but you will see Nothing that is exactly the same. I think the closest one that I have is this one. It's the uh, Maybelline Color Blur Lipstick in the color Plum Please. Super, super creamy, but definitely more matte. As you can see, there's less shine. It's a little bit more purple. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to tell the difference on camera, but it's a little bit more purple. And this one, you have to twist on this side, by the way. I'm always like, why is this not working? But I've been wearing this one last month a lot and I adored it. The one that I was wearing in my monthly favorite was this one. This is NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Très Bleu. And this one is the perfect deep aubergine color. Look at this. This is so stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I never thought I would be able to wear a lipstick that kind of is buried towards blue and it's just beautiful. The closest thing I have to this one is a liquid lipstick, so obviously very different formula. And it is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. The formula is hit and miss depending on the color. This is one of the uh, older version, which is fantastic. And I'll link my below the lip swatch video I did so you can see them on the lips. Some of them are a little bit more liquidy. This one, this one, <laughs> this one, wow. This one is definitely more of a moussey consistency. So it dries really, really matte, but it's not overly drying. Actually, I believe uh, at Ulta, they have like that kit for a Christmas where they have like mini sizes and there's like all the colors. So might be a must have. More deep colors. I wanted to show those two colors from MAC because they are fairly similar. One of them being more matte than the other one. They are both, they both said that they're a matte finish, but I'm pretty sure Sin is a retro matte finish. At least that's how it feels. So you have Diva, which is a dark burgundy, burgundy color, which is just the classic color that you want. Look at this. This is stunning. And obviously they all starting to look the same, but the more option, the better. And this one is Sin, so this one is darker and definitely drier. It has also a little bit more brown in there, right here, 
right here in the middle. So if you're looking for something that has almost zero transfer, I would go with Sin. If you want something that is a little bit more comfortable, less drying, I would go with Diva. But they're both fantastic shades that I do recommend, especially for the fall, they're just the classic burgundy color. More colors from the By Beauty range because I want to rave about them. I think I'm gonna do half half my lips so you can see both colors. Look how it's like one swipe, perfect intensity. It's fantastic. This one is the color Beet Root, which really matches my nails. <laughs> and this one is the color Eggplant. So as you can see, this one is a dark purple color and this one is just a classic berry color. They're so creamy and they smell so good. They're extremely creamy, it's pretty crazy. So those are just swatches on my arm. Two more colors from Kat Von D because they're probably the best formula of liquid lipsticks. They are very consistent. I think there's only one color in the whole range that I found a little uneven. The rest are just absolutely perfect. So two colors I want to mention. The first one is the one I'm wearing right now. And this one is the color Exorcism, which is, again, the perfect dark burgundy berry color because you can never have too many of those. So this is the color right here. But like I said, I'm wearing it right now. It's super matte, it's not drying, it lasts all day long. You really can't go wrong with that formula. They don't smell or taste like anything, they just... And I wanted to add one really bright color because I know some people like me like to wear those type of like really bright uh, purple color. Think MAC Heroin, those are just the perfect colors in my opinion. And this one is the color uh, Love, L-U-V which is just so much fun. So if you're looking for a great purple color, that's an option. If you wanted something even darker than the ones that I mentioned, I know a MAC Cyber is also a great option. I could just go on forever, but I'm gonna go with a few lip liners because I feel like, again, we tend to forget about them. One that is great from drugstore is Milani. This is the color Bordeaux, number 12. It is literally the same color as the packaging, so this is right here. I need to sharpen it. NYX has also in the slim pencil line some great colors. There's so many different ones that I love, like neutral colors. You could go with Peekaboo Neutral, which is fantastic, or is it Nude Pink or something? But for the dark shades, you have on top uh, Auburn and down you have Cabaret, which they look pretty much the same color from this side. Honestly, there's not a huge difference. I would say Auburn is a little bit more brown and uh, Cabaret is a little bit more uh, berry. A classic from MAC would have to be Night Moth. If you're looking for that really, really deep color, either to uh, mix with other lipsticks or just on its own, if you want something that is really drying but won't budge, is this one. Night Moth is just the really, really dark eggplant color that you want. It's so hard to swatch. Right here, as you can see, fantastic color. It is very, very similar to uh, the NARS one, Très Bleu. It's the closest one I have. Last lip liner is this one from Giordana. This one is the color uh, Cabernet. So this is another great berry color, extremely creamy. So those are all the lipsticks that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you at least found one or two that might have been the one for you, the one you were looking for. If you have any other recommendations, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos and I will see you in my next one.